In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make an emoji with a free tool called paint.net. I used it in a previous video, but I did a speed run through it. And one of you asked me in the comments if I can show you how to do it. And for sure, I'm here to serve you guys. So let's make an emoji. First of all, we need to download paint.net. Of course, if you already have it installed, you can just skip this part right here. Um, we're just gonna search it on Google and the website for it is getpaint.net. Apparently, we can just go to download directly. So we're gonna choose this free version right here, download now. And we're gonna have this link here, paint.net. So with the download completed, let's go ahead and open the folder. So here we have the paint.net. I'm going to extract this folder, extract. Once we extract the folder, we're gonna open it here and this is the installer, double click. I'm just gonna speed through the installation because it's super basic, right? Okay, so when we finally have paint.net open, we're just going to search for the image that we want to make an emoji out of. Let's say, I don't know, I'm just going to search something random. This, for example, I'm just going to save this image. It's a very bad image. You should choose something with better quality. This is just an example. So I'm going to save this image. Then I'm just going to open paint.net. I'm going to search this image from paint.net. I think I can just drag and drop it too. Um, hopefully I can just drag and drop it. Yeah, open. There you go. Okay. So we need to get that closer, right? All right. So once we get this image closer so that we can see what we're looking at, this is oh, the quality in this is making me uncomfortable, but whatever, this is what we want as an emoji, right? Um, we need to erase that background first. So this is the eraser. I'm going to choose this to erase this background. I'm going to make it bigger because you know, it's just taking very little. For images like this that are very pixelated, I would recommend you to use the, the eraser directly because if you do like Magic Wand, for example, the choosing is gonna be very, very spotty because it's so pixelated that it cannot really actually um, get anything. So Control D is deselect, right, there we go. So we're gonna do the eraser and we're just gonna erase everything in the you know, in the background as much as possible. I'm going to erase the feet. I'm just going to leave the, the body and everything. First of all, I think that we can do a selection of the part that we want to get. I'm going to select this part right here. And this is basically what we want for the emoji only. Let me just do it visually, right? Um, cut. And can we get everything erased? gonna get everything erased right the whole background can we do paste there we go we have our background back I'm gonna do control D for deselect and let's go ahead and select this part right here can we get it bigger control T oh control T we can make it bigger oh no that's not good can we do from the corner mm. no if we hold shift yeah if we hold shift and then we span it, we can um, move everything without making it like, you know, distorting the image, control Z. Um, if we hold shift, then we can just like expand without um, changing it basically. So I'm just gonna set it here in this corner or whatever. And I'm gonna control D to deselect. And I'm gonna keep on erasing the whole background I um, want to make sure that we get everything there. Let me just speed run through this. <laughs> speed run. I want to decrease the hardness a little so that it's not that hard and it doesn't look as choppy. If we decrease the hardness, then, you know, it's like a more brushed off delete. But if we increase the hardness, then it's like, a, you know, like cut and dry. So if we decrease the hardness a little, we can, you know, make it make a cut a little smoother. So I'm just going to go all the way around. All right, so once you have the background completely erased, you want to size the image to the crop, basically. So I'm just going to select it one more time and I'm going to kind of like just go all over the edges of the actual image. And then I have this option that's called crop to selection right here. Where is it? I just saw it, man. Come on. Here we go. Crop to selection. And now we have this complete image. As you can see, that's how it looks. Now let's go ahead and export it. I'm going to save as 
And as you can see down here in the background, it has those squares. When it has those squares, it means that the image is transparent. So the only format that allows images to be transparent is PNG. If we leave it as JPG, then Discord is going to have this white. So I'm going to change it as PNG and then I'm just going to name it. Dude on la, la, li, pop, whatever. So I'm going to save and yeah, yeah, whatever. And let's go ahead and check our image. All right. As you can see, the background is transparent and now we have our emoji for our discord. So let's go ahead and upload it to our discord server. Let's go to discord. Let's go to our server and you can just go server settings and emoji, click upload emoji. And well, this browser is showing me this shortcut, but that's not the one I want. I'm going to choose my emoji and I'm going to click on it. And now we have this emoji here. So I can just do dude all over the bottom. There we go. So now we have our emoji in our Discord server. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful rest of the day, my friends, and stay safe out there.